Angela, thanks. And as you were just showing us, we have reached that time of year where weather can impact travels, mm -hmm. especially up in the mountains. Yeah, the freeways will soon start lighting up with chain control signs, and it's important that people know how to put them on yeah. first and foremost. Jaden Urban is live near Interstate 80 to show us how. Jaden? Well, the most important thing is making sure that you have the chains. And then secondly, making sure that when you put them on, you pull off safely into the chain installation area. And the last is to make sure you have the right size, which you can find that on the side of your tire. There are two types of chains, cable and steel chains. The steel chains give more traction, but the cables are easier to put on. Before putting the chains on, make sure the hook is on the inside and the clasp is on the outside. Next, put the chain over the top of the tire and make sure they're spread evenly. Once they're on, back up your car until you have enough room to secure the chains on. Then put the hook on the chain link on the inside of the tire and make sure the clasp is locked on the outside. There, like that. For tightening the chains, make sure to get rubber adjusters to secure them in tightly. It's important to make sure your chains are installed properly before heading out. They're not coming off. They put them on upside down or backwards or too loose. Make sure they're properly installed before you take off. By doing that, you drive forward a little bit, stop, check, make sure they're still tight, make sure they haven't gone askew. The Tito also says not to drive over 25 miles an hour to avoid them from breaking. Caltrans does have stations prepared to help people put them on. Yeah, so it is a requirement. So when we do set up chain control, if you are not prepared, there are chain installers for you to purchase chains and have them installed if you are not um, experienced or comfortable of doing so. To make sure your chains are getting put on correctly, Latito says to make sure those people are wearing a neon vest with a number that matches their sign on the side of the road because they have proper licensing and permits. Caltrans prepared all summer for the winter driving conditions. They've made new hires and made sure all their equipment is ready to go to help people manage the winter weather. So we hold pre-winter meetings uh, ahead of time to make sure that everyone's fully prepared. Communication, networking, and teamwork is uh, brought here to make sure we accomplish our goals for winter operations. To remind everyone for driving in the winter, make sure you have chains, make sure you know how to put them on, and if you don't, find someone who does. Covering the story live from Bird Eye, Jaden Urban, 2 News.